My name is William Nering, I'm the CEO of Osram Digital. So we are at Osram, we are delighted to be here at the Lux Live. It's a wonderful opportunity for us to meet a lot of our clients and also to feel the pulse of the industry where everything is heading. We've recently changed our organization, um, especially focusing on all the changes in the industry. So we now have a new business unit called Ostrom Digital that is purely focusing all the software-based system, the digital solutions, light management system, because we see enormous opportunity. Um, and as you may know, Ostrom is really coming from a more than 110 years history, starting as a light bulb company, and that really That transition to becoming a technology company is in full swing and with a new business unit that's one of the key pillars for the future. We have recently announced that we will sell our Luminaires business, uh, the brand Citeco, um, also the service business and SLS that we have in the uh, US and that is really part of the transformation of the company to focus purely on the technology side. Uh, we, have, we also see that not only the business itself is changing but also the value chain is uh, changing and that is why it's so important to focus on the technology because we see in the lighting industry and the light infrastructure becoming a key enabler for IoT solutions even though it's very early days that means a lot of the projects in the beginning you really have to do end-to-end -end solutions and then also for our key clients that we become a technology enabler to solve the problems of the end clients. Not only solving the problems but also creating so much value, value out of data insights that we can create with our IoT systems. We do believe that the lighting infrastructure will be the backbone of IoT solutions in the future for a very simple reason. If you look at the ceiling, Light is everywhere. So talking about smart cities, smart buildings, we are in every single room. So per default, we have the perfect view on every room, a bird's eye view. We have the ability to provide power to every sensor there is. We can also collect the data out of every sensor and send it to a cloud-based system or light management system. And that is why the lighting infrastructure is so crucial for all IoT solutions in buildings in the future. So in the beginning, I think it's fair to say that the entry point has always been energy savings. So the, the main reasons why companies were going for light management systems or an intelligent connected lighting has always been saving energy. And we see now more and more that we have the first pilot cases where it goes beyond lighting where we really have the understanding that with sensing and data analytics, we can generate value out of the data for clients. So mainly, of course, in an industry segment where you have a very clear return on investment, where you see sometimes below two years, just by adding intelligence to your lighting infrastructure, you can enhance your production, you can enhance your warehouse, the flows from A to B, you can get insights how you're actually using your production facilities. And this is a, a segment or a sector where we see a very early adoption, but we also see more and more in offices because you have seen the way that smart offices are changing and the demand, especially in cities like we're here in London, when you're building a new office, you have a complete different demand on what that office has to deliver than let's say five or even 10 years ago because it's so much more about the employees themselves. How can I attract the right employees? People work differently today. Also, the younger generations have completely different demands, but also more flexibility in terms of sharing data and being willing to sharing their data to enhance their day in that office. So that is a very big change. But I would say the biggest impact you currently see in industry An office is just slowly kicking off. On the, on the retail side, what is very interesting is to have beacons and really to use targeted marketing in terms of you can use the light infrastructure that you have in order to send specific messages or offers or ads to shoppers who are either anyhow in your shop or passing by your retail area. And that is, of course, the dream of every marketing department. So Osram is changing because the market is changing and we see an enormous potential when it comes to IoT. There are 
different case studies, be it 200 billion or 400 billion market, but breaking that down into the industry and office building sector, we see at least a potential of 100 billion market that is coming up purely based on IoT solutions in the next years. And that is why it's so crucial for us really to tap into that and to be the key technology provider when we talk about IoT enablers digital ceiling, intelligence overhead, there are many words for it, but this is quite exciting because we see now for the first time that it's really kicking off. There's been a lot of talk in the industry for the recent years, but actually right here also when you go around at the Lux Live, you really feel it that that's the core topic everywhere.